Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are taking a look at how to use Tabex in combination with a network of Minecraft Bungie Cord servers. This is not a Bungie Cord tutorial, but I quickly want to show you what Bungie Cord does, and then we'll quickly look at how we can use Tabex in two different ways. Let me quickly demonstrate. I have two different servers. I have a lobby server and a survival server. These are both paper servers, and these are also the newest version, but version shouldn't really be an issue. Now with all three of these running, we can see that Bungie Cord is listening on a specific port. Inside of Minecraft, when locally connecting to that port, you can see we are instantly sent to the lobby. When doing slash server, it tells me what server we are in. So we are in the lobby and it also tells me what the available servers are. If I do slash server survival, you can see I get sent to the survival server. And in the top right, you can also see that here I got disconnected and here I got connected. And also in the middle, you can see that that is happening. I am connected to the survival server and I am disconnected from the lobby. Bungie Cord allows you to set up a network of Minecraft servers where players can switch between servers seamlessly in game. There are two different ways of interacting with your Bungie Cord network through Tabex. Let me first demonstrate a way where we actually just ignore Bungie Cord. So what we are going to do, we're going to install Tabex on our two paper servers. On Tabex, let's go to integrations and go to our game servers. Let's connect that game server to Tabex using the plugin. So I'm going to call this Bungie Lobby. I'm not going to attach any packages. Let's click on continue. And then you might think to download the Bungie Core plugin, but we are actually just going to download the bucket version. Let's then drag that into our plugins folder. Let's open up the plugins folder for our survival server as well. And then by holding control, I'm just going to copy this over there as well. I'm just quickly going to restart these two servers. Move this over here again. Kind of do something size-wise that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to make it as least cluttered as possible. So now the plugin should be running. As we can see here, Tabex enabled, Tabex enabled on both of them. So let's continue with the lobby connection. We are then going to copy our secret key, go to our server, and then going to right-click to paste it and press enter. It says connected Bungie lobby. I'm not going to do step four. I'm just going to click on continue. Now the Bungie lobby is connected. I'm going to do the same for the survival server. So connect game server, select the plugin, click on continue. So I will call this Bungie survival. Again, I won't attach any packages. Let's click on continue. We done one and two. So let's just copy the secret key for this server. Make sure we are on the survival server, paste our secret key. And now that is also connected to Bungie survival. Again, going to skip step four. Let's click continue. We now have our two servers, Bungie lobby and Bungie survival. When we now create a package, or we can edit the package that we already have. Scrolling down, you can see we have game servers. If you don't see this, make sure you add game server commands as a deliverable first. So we can either select the lobby, survival, or both. We have to select what servers we want to attach to these commands. This is not required, but optionally, we can go to the settings for each individual command, and then on their game server to execute on, we again have those two servers that we selected. For example, the first two, we only want to execute on the lobby. And then the third one, we want to execute on the survival server. It's publicly going to say hello on the lobby server and also thank the player for supporting the server. And then when the player joins the survival server, they are going to get a diamond sword. Something I quickly want to point out, if you are going to give something to a player, you can see here for the third one, this is set to only execute if the player is online, Alternatively, we can also execute regardless if the player is online. So let's update this package. So let's quickly make a test payment and see what happens on our server. I'm going to connect to the Bungie Cord server. This will send me to the lobby server. This will only trigger the commands that are set to execute when the player is online for the lobby server. We shouldn't see anything on the survival server. And I lied because it automatically dis... <laughs> I mean, it automatically reconnected me to the server that I was last on. So switch that around. We will see something on the survival server and not on the lobby server. But as you can see, um, we got our message over here. I logged in and we automatically from Tabex got that diamond sword. So let's do server and then let's go to the lobby. As you can see, we get our hello messages from the server. This way, we're directly talking to the servers inside of our network and kind of ignoring the fact that it's part of the Bungie Court network. But as you can see, everything works fine and we can exactly configure what we want to execute on what server and even exactly per command when and what is happening. 
option you have is directly installing the plugin on your Bungie Court server. The process is exactly the same. As you can see, we already have a plugins folder. Inside of Tabex, again, let's go to our game servers, create another game server, name this something that you know exactly that this is the main Bungie Court connection or server. We're then going to download the Bungie Court plugin, then just drag it inside of our folder, and I'm going to restart the server. As you can see, we get our secret key. It says Bycraft secret, and then our secret key. I'm just going to copy this space and then the secret key. We actually need to do Tabex and then secret key instead of Bycraft. So let's type Tabex. Oh, let's click here. Let's type Tabex. And then let's right click. So we have our secret key. And now we connected our Bungie Court main server to a Tabex as well. Then let's just click on continue. And now we also have this option inside of our packages. For example, when you use LockPerms on your Bungie Court server as a central point to configure everything, or of course, any other plugins. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.